In this video, we're going to create a schedule for the last semester of your PhD. And if this video does what I hope it does, it should both surprise and scare you. And it's better to be surprised and scared well ahead of time so that you can be prepared for that last semester of your PhD. Here is a schedule for somebody who would like to graduate in the fall semester. These parts that are sort of hashed out are actually parts of the month that technically are not part of the semester. So a fall semester would start maybe late August, go through September, October, November, and end somewhere in early December. The first thing you'll want to do is lay out all of the deadlines imposed by your university. So this should be documented on the university website somewhere. The first one, there's a date where you will have to petition to graduate. And in this particular semester, I'm taking University of Texas at El Paso. And in fall 2022, there's a September 30 deadline to petition to graduate. There is a November 11 deadline. And this is the latest possible date where you can submit your name for commencement. November 18, this is your deadline to defend. If you defend after that, well, you're going to graduate the next semester. December 2nd, this is the deadline to submit your final dissertation to the university. And again, if you submit that December 3rd, you're graduating in the following spring. And last, December 10th, is commencement. Given these dates imposed by the university, what we're going to do is work backward. So the date we'll start with is this December 2nd and November 18th, and work backward and figure out exactly when you need to finish your dissertation and your slides for your defense. So starting with the deadline to submit your dissertation, you probably need to receive the edits from your committee at least two weeks, and that gives yourself two weeks to make any of the revisions that they incorporate. Now, if you have any hints from your committee that there may be some significant revisions, you'll need to give yourself more time. From the hard deadline to when you should defend, I'd also recommend backing up at least two weeks and scheduling your defense. If you can schedule that earlier, that's even better. Faculty are notoriously hard to, to pin down near the end of the semester. Everybody's going to be one of defending then. And faculty just have a lot more to do at the end of the semester because the students in their classes are coming to them for help. They're having to make their final exams. And so you don't want to hit them at the end of their semester or it will be very, very difficult to schedule this. So I recommend at the absolute latest an early November defense. From here, you want to submit your dissertation to your committee at least two weeks before you defend. That gives them time to look it over, understand your topic, and prepare themselves for your defense. Also, you want to give them at least a month to have your dissertation to make edits that then you can go and, and revise your dissertation. So now we're looking at submitting your dissertation to your committee by mid-October. Before you submit your dissertation to your committee, you need to give it to your advisor first to do a, a first pass through it. And so you probably want to receive edits from your advisor at least two weeks before you submit it to your dissertation committee. That's so you have time to make those revisions and edits requested by your advisor. This may change amongst different advisors, but I recommend giving your advisor at least one month with a complete rough draft of your dissertation to go through it in detail, review it, and mark anything that needs to be revised or edited. Now notice that pushes things back all the way to September 5, where you need to have a complete dissertation that's very close to the beginning of the semester. And it's easy to look at an entire semester and think you have all kinds of time and room. And the reality is you don't. 
Let's talk a bit about your defense. So we've scheduled a defense at the very latest in early November. You want to schedule a practice defense at least a week before that. Now, typically this would happen in front of your research group, but feel free to gather any type of audience that you think would give you the best feedback to prepare you for your final defense. So if we back up a week, we're looking at late October to do your practice defense. Before you do your practice defense, you're going to want to submit your slides to your advisor so they can look them over and make any edits or suggestions that they might have. So you want to get those revisions from your advisor at least one week before you're giving the practice defense to give you enough time to revise your slides. You want to give your advisor at least two weeks with your slides to review them sufficiently and mark anything that needs to be edited or revised. So you're looking at having your slides completed at the latest early October to graduate in the fall semester. So here's the final schedule for your last semester. And the way we constructed this was starting with the university deadlines and working backward and working a little bit of margin to allow your advisor and your committee to make edits, giving you some time to make the edits, but it really doesn't have much margin for anything else that may go wrong. So think of these dates here as the latest possible. Let's draw some conclusions from what we've learned here. The very first thing, there is almost zero time to complete any research in your last semester of your PhD. Plan to have all your research finished the prior semester. Second thing, you have to have a complete rough draft of your dissertation actually early in the semester. And it's easy to get relaxed and think you have all kinds of time and then all of a sudden you're rushing at the last minute and you can't pull things together and your graduation then slips a semester and you end up very frustrated from that. So knowing this ahead of time, you can plan accordingly. Last, you really want to interpret this schedule as a best case. We built in enough time for your advisor and committee and yourself to do the work, but literally if any emergency or unexpected delay happen, this schedule can't accommodate much. So think of it as a best case, and you may even want to slide some of those dates earlier to give yourself a margin to react to different emergencies. So I hope the conclusions here surprised you and scared you of really how soon in the semester you have to have these documents done and submitted. Hopefully you found this helpful.